I'm going to take you through a few screen settings, just basic overview of the different views you can have on your screen and how to change a few things to customise it to the way that you like. This is the way that I see most operators in an excavator set up their screen. You've got the plan view at the top and the section view at the bottom. Zoom into each one with the plus and the minus down the bottom there or plus and minus up the top here. If you've got 55, the earlier screen's just got that plus and minus on the screen. You can change those pretty easily. So you can change the top, uh, any of the views under view menu, main window, left window, right window, or lower window. So the left window sits about there, or if you don't have anything down the bottom, it'll sit in the entire left of your screen. The right window is the same, the lower window is a small section down the bottom, and the main window can be up the top, both sides. Click main window, if you can change that to profile if you like, and then you've got a profile view in the top window. Have a bit of a muck around with those, you can't really um, can't really go wrong depending on just which way you, you prefer to look at it and what you're doing. It might change your view depending on your application. Up the top right here I've got a few shortcuts selected so they're pretty easy to get to as well under the view menu, display options, shortcuts. So to change that to be viewable or not simply highlight it. If it's got no click modify and that'll change it to yes. So I've selected bucket attachment which is a quick flick through to change your bucket reference point is your excavation point on your bucket your left your middle or your right this is the same for a grader or, or other machines as well uh, take a top a shot sometimes if you're taking your point you want to know what the point is or you want to create a uh, fairly advanced surface to dig to or create your own line to dig the drainage to we'll get to that in a later video then you can have a quick reference on the screen to, to take a shot as well. So they'll appear up there, those three menus. Once this main bar disappears, you'll see that there it, there it is. It's got bucket, reference point, and topo shot. So bucket, I can change to any of my buckets at the moment. I've got the mud bucket on. Next one is the reference point. So you click that once, and you'll see this little red arrow goes to the right. So now it's taking the height off the right edge of my bucket. Click it again, it'll go to the left. Click it again. It'll go to the middle. Same on a dozer, same on a grader. Top bow shot, you can just sim simply take a point where your bucket is anytime you like. So we'll get to that a bit later. In your top view, you've also got some hidden menus. If you press and hold, you can see display text and you can actually select various things to be shown on the screen in the top menu. Most of these are pretty relevant in, in the bottom screen that I've got, uh, I've got shown there at the moment. So you've got um, same in this bottom, bottom view, the section view, you've got a hidden menu if you press and hold in each of the locations on the screen. So display text in the middle of the screen where I just pressed. You can select steering offset or elevation middle edge is a good one. So now my Z value in the middle of my bucket is always shown. If I want that on the right hand side, same again, press over there, go to display text, and go elevation right edge. So now, if you like that, I think it's getting a bit crowded, but you can have lots of lots of different things. I've got the bucket shown on the right there as well, so you can actually tick the attachment name. You can tick that on any of those menus. So now I'll have mud there, and I've got a mud over there as well. So I'll get rid of it over on the left hand side. I like to leave it there, so it's a nice reminder. I'll get rid of that elevation by just selecting it again, which unticks it. Same in the middle there, press and hold. Uh, display text and press it to untick it. So you can play around with that. In the top menu, if you press and hold on the excavator, you've got a excavator machine image menu here. I like to have it transparent so you can see through the excavator. If you untick that, it'll go solid yellow. Same with the crosshair. You'll see the crosshair disappear on the the bucket up the top. I think it's very important to have the crosshair displayed because often that's where you steer, or that, that is where your steer is if you're steering relative to a line. So you need you need to know where that crosshair is if you're digging to a polyline for a sewer or a stormwater or a, a, a line that you've created on the machine yourself. You, you always need to see that. And I like to have it transparent as well and I, I've seen it on a lot of machines that uh, a lot of guys like to have it transparent because 
if you are using the excavator in a more advanced mode and you want to dig to a line it's, it's much easier to try and line yourself up like that green line that run at the moment if I just move over there a little bit see I'm pretty much pretty close to being on line with that poly line that's dotted so I could actually look back here where my main boom pin is and get that fairly accurate before I do my official checks which we'll go through in a later video so that's pretty much the view menu you can muck around with your display options if you've got a working surface you can turn the triangles on or you can leave them off if you turn them on and I think it looks a bit crowded turn the triangle mesh on you can turn contours on at whatever interval you like change the color of each so we're going to have green triangles and blue contours at 50 mil once I press OK which you'll see gets a bit crowded so you see the blue contours there and the green triangles represents the surface I think that's a bit crowded so I always turn that off. It is handy sometimes when you need to know where a brake line in a batter is and you don't have any brake line uh, located on the screen but you might want to turn the triangles on in that instance to see where the footpath is or where the batter changes. So just there is going to be a, a batter change. I know it is because that's a footpath just past it. In fact, if we turn the contours back on, make it a bit smaller, make it 20 mil. See the contours across, oh, it's a bit hard here because we're in a low point, but basically the, 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 the brake line there would be easier to see. You can see on the other side of the footpath there um, where the brake line is, the, the contours sort of change it a little bit. That's not the, not the greatest surface to show you as an example, but you get, my, get the picture. Turn that back off, view menu, display options, working surface, turn those off. And that is basically your screen and your display. Down the bottom here you've got your, your information on your GPS and uh, your, your, your different antennas and what, what they're receiving. This is where you can change your vertical offset which we'll go, in another, go through in another video. So that's the way I like it and that's the way I see a lot of excavator operators set up their screen. Hope you enjoyed it.